All right, I'm a day late to watching the Indie Direct, but I'm watching it now, okay? It's 22 minutes. I did see one thing. I did see one thing on Twitter, um, but yeah, I heard it was good, I think. I don't know. We'll see. Let's give this a sniff. Yeah, that reminded me of Gravity Falls just there. Da, 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 da. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Indie World. Subtitles? There we go. And I'm Tyler. We're back with more indie games coming to the Nintendo Switch system. All right, let's get. Uh, oh. What was that? Oh, I'm just prepping for our first segment. Uh huh. Well then, let's get going. Nintendo is quirky. Hey, Micah, you ready to get started? Yep. Pip's here. Hello. <gasps> um, Pip, you have a filter on. What? Oh. I don't think anybody's going to notice. Let's go. Hi, I'm Matt. I can't, I can't with the acting. I'm Micah, the animator. And I'm Pip, the narrative designer. Little Kitty Big City is a game about exploring a weird and wonderful neighborhood as a little cat. Game idea originally. Wait, double subtitles. Kids had a code. And it's grown a lot since then. But the core is still the same. It's a game about being a little cat. A little cat in a world filled with exciting distractions. Made by people who love distractions and cats. We hope you love Kitty as much as we do. Kitty. I think we nailed it. Yeah, and I think I've worked out the filter thing. Look. No. Oh. I, I don't I don't think that's how that happens. Kitty. I don't think that's how it works with Zoom. You were taking a nap in your favorite spot. <gasps> fell and oh! Lost. Talk about a near catastrophe. This, this has been on my wish list. Adventure. You'll navigate a vibrant city to find your way home, and there's plenty to do along the way. Like, check your to-do list. Some of the city's animals have found themselves in hairy situations. Harry? That's funny. Maybe one of them wants something shiny. Another might be stuck in a pipe. There are also cat achievements to complete. <gasps> Get petted by humans. Okay, I'm sold. Cat achievements, I'm sold. Normal cat stuff. Oh, we didn't mention kitty customization. Collect and wear over 40 pretty nifty hats, like a ladybug, a shark, and even a bunny. Was that an avocado? You can also perform emote. Ladybug. <gasps> oh, I think it was a pear. A shark. Is that a pear or an avocado? I think it's a pear. Ugh. And even a bunny. You can also perform emotes whenever you want. Oh, that's oh hell a yeah! Stretch. I love it's Fortnite. A way to look cute while stirring up oh shit! Mischief. He just killed him. Get ready to dig your claws in when Little Kitty Big City pounces onto Nintendo Switch May 9th. I think that's available on Steam. On Nintendo e -shop. You ever get that feeling? Like you're meant for something more? That's been kind of my deal since forever. What is this? But now? A cyberpunk... Uh... Cyberpunk platformer? Atari? Oh my god. She's in the Avatar state. Probably. What does that say? Yars hey there, Rising? Emi Kimura here, aka Yar. If you want to use my handle, which you totally should, join me on a high-stakes oh. sci-fi action adventure in Yars Rising. Interesting. Game from way forward and Atari. What started as your typical hacker for hire gig spirals into a weird intergalactic conspiracy involving mega conglomerate Kotek. Help me run, jump, hack, and blast my way into unlocking the mysteries of this corporate empire in Yars Rising. Launching on the Nintendo Switch system later this year. 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 Sorry, I'm Oh, God. <laughs> okay. It's not a cute little, like, pixel character. Oh, what is this? It's me, my a reflection. Oh. discovery awaits in this exploration-based adventure. Take on the role of an android, the creation of a doctor who has since passed away. Every action you take and decision you make during your journey reveals a little more about who you are. And there are no right or wrong choices. Travel to places from your memories. 
interact with other characters and I'd play it. piece together the future the doctor envisioned for you. At the end of your journey, your personality type will be revealed. With 23 mm. personality types to discover, you can make different choices in each Interesting. and see where they lead you. Will you end up as a proactive leader? What about a wise sage? Or even a sage from Valorant? Samurai. And if you're curious about the personality types of other players, you can share your results with each other and compare your choices. Oh my god, don't show that to astrology nuts. Find out who you are in Refined Self, the personality test game. Launching as a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch this time. Timed console exclusive? So does that mean it's coming to Switch first and then going to other platforms? The developers of Sticky Business. We drew our inspirations <gasps> from the small businesses and creators we saw popping up on social media. Sticky business. It's been so inspiring to see Doggy. all those fantastic artists create cute stickers, assemble beautiful packages, and learn about their customers' wholesome stories. So we wanted to make a game where you can experience exactly that for yourself. It was supposed to be just a short project, just a few weeks, but then so many people liked the concept that we kept working on it. We're excited for you to play on Nintendo Switch. <gasps> oh! Sticking around this has been on my sticky wish list. Business. You've got a sticker shop to run. So let your imagination run wild as you create stickers and ship them off to customers. There are over 400 elements to choose from when creating your stickers. I'd be so stressed and out. <laughs> for even more but it does look fun. Wow. Boba, Avocado! Books? Pizza? And raccoons? Oh, there's plenty more! And you can add effects like glitter and sparkles. <gasps> so combine sparkles. whatever elements and effects you want to design your artistic adhesives. But no shop is complete without its customers. Each one will ask for different stickers. And by fulfilling their requests, not only will you impress your customers, but you'll also learn more about... No, is this game on sale right now? <laughs> from a music teacher striving to motivate her students to a dad who I'm checking steam his grieving child each customer has a heartfelt story to share plus ten dollars me paid DLC adds 10 more customer stories and over 100 sticker elements including habit trackers <gasps> washi tape. tape and frames oh say less get ready to build the cutest shop ever in sticky business both the game and DLC launch as timed console exclusives on Nintendo Switch later today. Oh. A bundle of the game and DLC will also be available later today. Okay, when it's on sale, I'm going to buy that game. If you're looking for explosive, calming, or mysterious journeys, we've got you covered with this trio of upcoming indie games. Check them out. I'm gonna find out who did this and blast him into teeny tiny little pieces. This is kind of giving Pizza Tower. What is this? Blast in Anton Blast. The devil himself stole your prize spirit collection. It kind of looks like Pizza Tower. To get it back, wield the mighty hammer as dynamite Anton. <coughs> or the massive mace <laughs> as dynamite Annie to lay wacky worlds to waste and beat up brutish bosses. Smash up levels like I thought it said beat up Buddhist bosses and I'm like what alter their paths and find new excuse me I'm Buddhist after reaching the end of each level a detonator will start ticking down so you've got to rush back to the beginning before everything explodes get ready Kablooey. for a good time in Anton blast I mean it looks fun I'd have to get used to the art style the Nintendo switch system November 12th a demo will be available later today on Ooh. Nintendo eShop. I need to write these things down because otherwise I'll forget. But I'd play I'd do the demo. In Valley Peaks. As the new technician assigned to the peaks, you'll climb, glide, and even use your tongue to scale the What? Setting up radio towers to the local <laughs> Your tongue is crazy. But with boulders, Hello? spikes, and other hazards in your way, the trek to the summits won't be easy. If you need a hiking hiatus, there's still plenty to do. Chat with the froggy folks and take on small side quests. Fill out stamp cards for equipment unlocks. I kind of just blinked out, I can't lie. Easier. Or kick back 
back and relax with mini games. Plan your trip to Valley Peaks when it leaps onto Nintendo Switch this Hi, Nameless. Year. What's up? Uh, maybe. I'd have to see more on that one. It didn't 100% sell me. What is this? I like the black and white art style. <gasps> Doggy! Oh my god, wait. This looks amazing. Is this a puzzle game? Wait, I want I want to play this. This Oh. How you got I'm doing good. I want to. You want to as well? What is this? This is cool. It's kind of giving control, like the main character. Lorelei and the laser eyes. Hold on, I gotta add that to my Steam. Oh, I've heard about this. on the game in my spare time, and since then it blossomed with the help of an amazing collective of friends. Lorelei and the laser eye. What's that last game? With the idea of using it's not out yet. To evoke peaceful and zen vibes. I added I it to my to list, though. A meditative experience and to tell the beautiful story through gameplay that's able to put the player in a state of flow. I really hope you enjoy the world that we are creating here, and I cannot wait to show it to you. Thank you so much. I heard that this made somebody cry, like, when they played Some it. Say that humans brought life to Europa. If you ask me, all we did was unlock the life that was sleeping within. Europa is unbelievable, but it's not finished. We're trying to build something better than what we left behind. That will take time. It's giving Avatar a little bit. I don't know why. It's like so calming, like that Avatar. Is why I'm sending you ahead. I'll add this to my list. Your Opa. Oh, it's not out yet. Okay. Most times, I feel like in indie directs, they do it where, um, like the game comes out on Steam and then they see how it does and then, and then it releases to a console, like the Switch. But, uh, so far, a couple of these games haven't even come out at all yet. Oh, this is cute. It's your world now, Z. Z. Your Demo available later today. It looked like Order up some oh. pizza because the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles <laughs> are back on Nintendo Switch. In their very first radical roguelike adventure, Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, and Michelangelo must travel to <laughs> That was such a like abrupt ending to that last game. It was so cozy and then it's like this. Totally bogus Foot Clan while enhancing your Foot Clan. But no two runs are the same. Upgrade your turtle powers to grow stronger and shred. May 16th for four turtles each have their signature weapons. For which game? Awesome abilities. For example, Donnie's attacks have more range. Wrath has a higher chance of dealing critical damage. After clearing each room, you get to choose from a variety of turtle powers to customize your moveset and create... Oh, the puzzle game. Yeah, that's not far away. I play it. I'll play it on stream. It looks sick. More customization options await back at your sewer home, where you can spend in-game currency... I don't know if it's for me, but... Big day for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fans. Jump online with up to three bodacious buds in co-op play. Your team of turtles can drop in and out whenever they want, making for a no- I can't with the voice actors. It's get ready to fight the foot when Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles splintered fate. The Nickelodeon at the top. <laughs> on Nintendo Switch this July. Pizza's here! I forgot that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is by Nickelodeon. <gasps> Cat Quest! This has been on my wish list. Wait. Three. 
three! Is that out yet? Wait, I don't... Okay, I know one and two are on my wish list, but... Hold on, is there a three or is this coming out? Hold on. Of course a game called Cat Quest is going to be on my wish list. Oh, Cat Quest 3. I just clicked on Cat Quest 1. Cat Quest 3 is not out yet. August 8th, 2024. I gotta play the Cat Quest games. I don't really know what they're about. I just know that you're a cat and you quest. That's all I need to know, I feel like. I think I literally added them to my wish list because of the name. Because I don't remember I don't remember seeing any gameplay. Like ever in my life. He. Why didn't this win game of the year? From Phuket, Cup. I'm Jay, the Lucas Studio Art Director, and this is my amazing. The subtitles are not right. There we go. Hi there. We are part of the creative team behind Stitch, a puzzle game about handmade embroidery. It is <gasps> a blast for us to merge our shared passion for art and craft into our game, as we design a pattern called Hook. Together, we have designed over 180 hoops for Nintendo Switch version, and there are so many more to come after the game has launched. Our patterns are a fusion of personal experience and the community's idea. The Penguin mascot is a gamified avatar of our producer, Tanin. Do <laughs> what? Some content category, like mystical creature, for example, originated from- I want to see the gameplay. We hope you will enjoy the game and happy, happy stitching. stitching. I want to stitch. I want to do the stitch. <laughs> Here's the nitty gritty on this cozy game. Okay, this You'll guy. Complete puzzles called hoops to bring stunning embroidery patterns to life. Stitch together groups of cells according to the numbers on the grid while avoiding any overlaps. Figuring out exactly where to stitch is key to completing the hoop. From roller skates and teddy bears to real life That's locations, a there are all really sorts unique of idea. To needle and noodle over. Hoops come in different sizes, so you can take a quick break with smaller hoops or unwind with bigger ones that require more careful thought. Complete hoops in whatever order you'd like. No matter which hoop you choose, each one has the potential to offer a relaxing and calming experience that you can also enjoy with touch controls in handheld mode. After completing a hoop, you can play it again in free stitch mode and recolor it to your liking. If a hoop seems too tough, do yeah, okay. Come on. <laughs> Holy fuck. Various accessibility settings. Yo, that's crazy. Limited time daily Shikaku puzzle. I mean it's a unique idea. I don't know if it's for me though. But to put your thinking cap on. Weekly hoops are Holy. Each one is inspired by real life events and filled with trivia. So stitch away while learning a fun fact. JK JK. Once a weekly hoop is unlocked, it's yours to play whenever you'd like. Stitch launches as a console exclusive on Nintendo Switch. Oh, console later exclusive. Today. today, dang. Before we go, let's take a quick look at a few more Indians <laughs> heading to Nintendo Switch. Terrible. Terrible but funny. That uh that cricket. Okay, what is this? What? what is that, a frog? Oh, you can only lurk in the shadows? Oh. oh. Whoa, whoa, that's a little- Oh, wait, I played this at PAX West! <gasps> I played this at PAX West! This is actually on my- I don't know if it's on my Steam wishlist right now. But I remember playing this at PAX West. 
Guys, I played this. Duck Detective, the Secret Salami? Oh, hell yeah. That's not, that's like tax- that's like Turnip Boy commits tax evasion. How many games you got? Huh? <laughs> what? Oh, another Crab's Treasure is also on my list. It's supposed to be like a, a Souls-like. Oh, on my Steam wishlist? I have like 400 wishlisted games. Wait, is that it? Got time for one last announcement oh. before we run out of steam. Steam? What do you mean steam? Get ready to sail the spectacular sea. Steamworld Heist 2. Steamworld sequel. The waters of the world have turned deadly, corroding the metal limbs and mechanical hearts of its robotic denizens. Now, it's up to you to explore the great sea and discover why this <laughs> brother, not a fan has become a nautical nightmare. Guide your ragtag crew of steam I don't think I've even heard of the first one. In a brand new adventure. Point. Shoot. Our style's cute. Bullets bounce. This time around, you can explore the world. Er, okay. <laughs> wow. I should get that sound effect. Equip your submarine with a variety of weapons and items, then line up your shot to blast baddies. Baddies? You Why are we blasting baddies? Steambots along the way. Recruit them to your cause and embark on an epic voyage together. As you get to know more bots, you'll learn how your actions impact their lives. Plus, with the new job system and in-depth character customization, along with over 150 weapons, utility items, and ship equipment pieces, you can strategically craft your crew to best uh, meet the mission. Sorry. Your Excuse me. Jobs and abilities depend on their equipped weapons and levels. Each different crewmate also has unique abilities that can be I want to read like the Twitch chat from the so VOD to see what they say cuz you know Twitch Steamworld Heist 2 ricochets onto Nintendo Switch People on Twitch are brutal when it comes to any type of direct That's all for today's Indie World. We hope you enjoyed the games in today's showcase. A big thank you as always to our indie community and partners for bringing their experiences to the Nintendo Switch system. Follow our official Indie World account to stay up to date on the latest news from Indie World. Until next time, happy gaming! All right, so that was the direct. Um, Okay, little I can't read. Little city, big city looked cute. I know that's on Steam. This is already on my wish list. I love cats. And then Yars Rising, eh? Refined self, the personality test game. Uh, I want to see some reviews, but I like the art style. Look good. Sticky business. I I saw this on Steam a while back, and um, I saw that you can like make your own stickers, and you can like have your own business and like sell your stickers um but I, I don't think i had ever seen gameplay so that kind of like boosted that one up on my like want to play list that one looks fun and then what else oh lorelei and the laser eyes honestly looked amazing that looks so fun like i want to play that almost when it comes out in in may i might have to because that one looked really good depends on how much it is uh europa um looks really good as well um this one uh i heard somebody like cried when they played it or I, I don't i don't know exactly but um i have heard of this one and this one looks good um cat quest come on like cat quest you know i gotta play that St wow stitch had a really long segment compared to some other ones and then sh shim shim or skim this one looks kind of cool. It's like you can only go in the shadows, so you have to like time like when you move and stuff. That looked like a sick mechanic. I'd actually play this. This was fun. Let me actually add that to my Steam wish list. Haha. <laughs> What's it called? C no S I know letters. S C H I M. Is it on Steam? It is, but it's not out yet. July 18th, 2024, so it's going to come out in a couple months. And then Animal Well. Let's see if that's on my list. I don't know if it is. Animal Well. It is on my list! 
It is on my list. Uh, that comes out next month. Yeah, see, I already had it on my list because I played it at PAX. Duck Detective, um, sure. I mean, it sounded interesting, so why not? And SteamWorld Heist 2, I didn't even know there was a SteamWorld Heist 1. I have never heard of that game in my life. Um, but it looked interesting. But, uh, yeah. I mean, there were some good games there. I, I want to read what people said about some of the games. Um, that's what I'm kind of um, wanting to do. But, um, I mean, I enjoyed it. There are definitely some games that I'm going to check out. But, uh, yeah. That was the... What month is it? <laughs> that was the April 2024 Indie Direct. That was good. 